Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brick, and I'm here to make you into a lean, mean building machine. We're going to take it step by step and put together the coolest Lego sets out there so that you will have the tools and tricks you need to build whatever crazy thing you can imagine. Hey guys, welcome to our Lego Ideas Dinosaur Fossil Set, number 21320. This will be part one of bag one. Let's get started. So guys, this is a set that I'm particularly super excited about. Um, I had a friend go down to downtown Disney Lego store and pick this up for me. It was really hard to find everywhere else, but we got one. And now I'm finally getting around to unboxing it. Can't wait to show you guys what's inside. So, let's see how many bags we have. One, bag two. We have our instruction booklet. We have some decals. We have another instruction booklet. I guess each different dinosaur has its own instructions. And pterodon, bag three, bag four, five, and six. All right, so which one should we start with? No, let's see which one uses bag one. Let's decide that way. So, the Tyrannosaurus uses bags four through six. So that one's gonna be last. Um, let's see, the Pterodon. Pterodon is bag one. So we're starting with Pterodon. All right, guys. So I'm gonna get into bag one, sort that out, and then we will get going. Uh, we're gonna do the sort a little bit different this time because almost all these pieces are white. So, um, I'm gonna try and sort them out first into colors, and then some of the white pieces I'm gonna sort out into um, maybe more technic looking pieces or standard um, block type pieces, and then maybe, you know, some other more unusual like part in a part pieces, uh, stuff like that. So, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, and it's gonna be a little different this time. All right. That's cool. We have a teal separator piece. That's my first one of those. Okay, so here I have our more standard white pieces. Um, I'm gonna put them together. And then the kind of Technic set looking pieces, we'll put here. And put this in the bottom space. These are like teeth and bones, things that don't have any studs. Horns, stuff like that. There's this cool egg piece. We'll get that later. Um, we have some tools. They're all in this silver color. And we have some black pieces. And also some random colors. Gray. And then some browns. There's a couple different kinds of browns. We're going to put them all together. Alright, easy enough. So, bag one. Let's start on the pterodon. And let's see, first we're gonna put the other main figure. I put all these pieces together. We have, let's see. So we have some, looks like um, khaki shorts with some brown boots. Let me zoom in here. Um, and then we have the shirt, classic like safari khaki shirt with the pockets on the front. And we have our little mustache man head and some hair. Right. There we go. 
And he also has this magnifying glass. It's a real magnifying glass. Ooh. Sorry, that glare's gonna be hard on it. Um, okay, so he also is holding the dinosaur bone. Or, I'm assuming it's a dinosaur bone. It looks just like a dog bone. Anyway, it's that. And then, uh, in the next page, on page seven, we're going to look at this, um, it's kind of like a, it's like a light brown color. It almost looks like it has like a little pink tint to it. But anyway, in the little tool chest, we are going to grab, um, a coffee cup, a red coffee cup, and there's a book, some brown pieces, Let's see, and these two brown pieces, and then we have this like grayish brown. Uh, one by two tile, and that is going to get decal number five. If you look right here, it's this one right here. It has a little bone on it, and we're going to line that up and look at this and see how much space is on either side of this tile, and with that same amount of space on the end. When you line that up, make sure as you laying it down, it's lining up parallel with the edges, and smooth it down. Okay, there you go. Um, this is going to go into the little book, and then we're going to click the, I don't think I have switch side. Here we go, there's the book, and that can stand here in our little chest. We're also going to put the egg, or dinosaur egg, and there's this, um, I'm not sure what this is, it's a rubber piece, it's black, it's like a little lipstick. See that? I don't know what this is supposed to be really. Maybe some sort of paleontologist will let me know if you know. Um, anyway, that's going in there and I guess all of our tools. Um, I don't know why you need a tire wrench to um, work the dinosaur bones, but it's here in case you need it. Oh, lots of these things like um, here's a socket wrench. I don't know if um, dinosaur bones are standard or if they're in metric, but yeah, here's all the tools for that. So, cram all those into this chest. Not very organized. Anyway, there's more tools than there's room for. And then let's turn page two, uh, page eight, and we'll get started with our build. So first off, we will get this um, six by six plate in black. And then in step two, we're going to grab this black, uh, it's a two by two tile, it has two studs, and the other side has a little tab or a hinge. And you're going to put that on the back here, centered in the back on top, I guess, uh, so that the hinge part is on the outside. Okay, so this black is really hard to see once you close up. Okay, so then uh, step three. Grab these two dark gray one by two plates and put them on top of each other. And those are going to go right on top of those two studs on the hinge piece. All right. Now, um, step four. Let's get a two by four block. And that's in black, in case you can't tell. Then we also have two one by two blocks in black. And the two by four is going to go right in the center of our black plate. It's invisible now. And then these one by twos are gonna go behind that on either side of that hinge plate. Okay. Now step five, grab this black piece. It's like a three by four, I guess, and it only has a row of four studs down the middle. The rest is like a tile. <clears throat> That's gonna go on here. Um, the front edge, or the bottom edge, um, from your guys' point of view, is gonna line up with that two by four block. Center onto those pieces like that. Okay. And then you also want to get this 2x4 tile in dark brown, and that's going to go right down on the bottom of that, this, and then you also need two single stud square tiles in black. Those are going to go on these back studs off of those 1x2 uh, blocks. Cover those up on either side of the hinge. Okay. Now in step six, we want to get, make sure this is clean, make sure that brown tile is cleaned off. You don't want much oil to hand on it. 
so that this decal number one can stick on there. See, it says Teradome Lunge Sets. Alright, we're gonna put that on here, make sure that that is facing outward. You can read the lettering as if you were standing in front of it. Okay, let me get that on there, it's really crooked, it looks really crooked. It looks like I. Yeah. It looks really crooked. Want Anyway, too late now. Um, not my best work. Let's get a black hinge piece that has an X mark on it, and let's put that down into the hinge. And let's go to step seven. Step seven, we're gonna get a eight space long X bar in black. Stick that into the hinge. Or I mean, to that. X bar hole of hinge piece that's going to stick straight up, and then we're going to get another one of those black hinge pieces. This, and we're going to put that in the top here, and it's aligned in the same direction as the bottom hinge. Okay, go on to step eight. In step eight, we are going to start actually building our teardown. Um, and you know what? That's a good place to stop. So we will be back next time with part two of bag one. Thanks for joining, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.